What's up, gang? How you guys doing? It is Lieutenant Sal Blue, 28 year law enforcement veteran and the author of the. Let me get it. That's right. Top 25 Mistakes in Route to a Good Life. Coming at you today with my daily podcast. It is Saturday afternoon, man. I work seven days a week. That's what's called a daily podcast, man. That's what's called a daily podcast. And you want to know something? Seven days a week, there has not been a day that I haven't made some type of mistake, right? Because I'm always trying something new. I'm always trying something different. Today is no different, man. Today is no different. And so uh, when I was thinking about uh, what was going to be today's mistake, right, um, it should have been uh, very easy for me. Um, My wife usually calls me a bull in a china cabinet, right? That is me. I'm always... uh, too rough, too hard on things, always bumbling through things, always grabbing things and crushing them, and and, and this, that's what I do. Uh, and instead of finessing things, right, I don't have a lot of finesse on a lot of things. And it's just, uh, I don't know, I was brought up that way maybe, or, you know, I, I was taught that boys supposed to be rough and tough, and so... Um, I just taken that way too far guys and and so I have made a lot of mistakes I have made a lot of mistakes in my life based on me being just too abrasive too harsh too strong too rough right and basically doing what today's podcast is about so what is today's podcast about guys the question of today is have you been using your biceps when you should have been using your brain? That's right. Uh, explosion for me. Explosion for me because I am the bicep guy. I am the bicep guy. You know, I'm the bicep guy so much that 90% of my career, well, not 90%, but probably 60% of my career, um, they used to call me um, dumbbells and biceps, dumbbells and biceps, right? Dumbbells and biceps, because that's what I would do, man. I would always be lifting weights, right? And um, and I don't know where the biceps came from, because it's not like I got super huge biceps, but <laughs> but anyway, man, uh, people just find a way to just uh, throw two words together and just make them stick, and so I was stuck with that. A lot of times, and people say, you know, uh, chicken breasts and biceps, boiled eggs and biceps, whatever they used to say, man, I was the fitness guy. I was the fitness guy, and I stayed in great shape, and even in my 50s, I still try to uh, maintain the best shape as possible. I definitely don't have a gut, you know, like a lot of people that I used to work with. So, um, fitness and staying in shape is important to me, right? So, if that is so important to me, right, um, then uh, how can I possibly uh, gain an advantage in other things that I want to do that don't have anything to do with biceps, with strength, with muscle, right? So um, this is my dilemma and this is what I'm dealing with, guys. So um, being a person, right, being a person who, uh, who I gain my strength and energy, guys. Believe it or not, I gain my strength and energy through getting physical, right? When I'm starting to feel sluggish or low, I get in there and I lift some weights, man. Or I do some push-ups or, or I get on a spin bike. Either way, um, when it's time uh, for me to get my brain going, I get physical. And so uh, it affects me. It affects me. And I've made many mistakes um, because of it. And I believe that if you are like me or people like me who are who are into fitness and physical and, and this is just something we're good at, um, you're probably making some of the same mistakes I made. So um, I would like to just help you through this and maybe give you a couple of tips as you're moving forward just to make you aware of of uh, that there can be a better way, you know, because I know if you're like me, you're probably hard headed, right? And so hard headed people have a tendency to 
push as hard as they can in that one direction and we'll get into that in a minute now I'm always growing right I'm always growing that is my thing right um, I'm always growing and I'm trying to learn how to succeed at, at the highest level possible in life so um, first I would like to say this to all of my physical alphas out there right learning learning to not be physical guys does not make you soft it doesn't make you weak and you can still right you can still just because you learned a new method you can still hold on to those methods but remember this right I want you guys to remember this because uh, this hit me when I read it right you can move weight with your biceps but with your mind you can bend time right now what did I tell you guys was your, our most valuable asset our most valuable asset is time so if you can bend time guys right you can't bend time with these man you can't bend time with these so so understand that that even though you can be as powerful as you want to be right nothing is as powerful as this up here so now don't get me wrong guys don't get me wrong right you need to exercise both muscles. You need to exercise both muscles in order to live a healthy um, lifestyle. But the most bang for your buck, the most bang for your buck, come from the intense exercise of your mind. The intense exercise of your mind, putting your mind through the same physical regimen that you put your biceps through and get them suckers to grow 22, 24 inches. You know you big gun guys out there and girls getting those biceps to grow, man. Um, put your brain through that same intense regimen, the same consistent routine. You know the routine. If you're physical like me, you know the routine that you have to put your body through in order to get growth, in order to get progress. You got to start putting your brain through the same sequence of events in order to get that brain to grow. Now, understand this. For a long time, I had the greatest of difficulties, right? Making the right transition at the right time. I was always late to the party, man. Late to the party because when I was supposed to be using my brain, I was using my biceps. And when I finally began to use my brain, man, I ended up getting a fat lip because I probably should have been using my biceps, right? And so... Uh, making that transition is very, very difficult, and that is why you got to train both like your life depends on it. You got to train both like your life depends on it. And as I always say, one day it might. One day it might. So you got to be able to be be able to be fluid in your transition from biceps to brain and brain to biceps. You got to be able to do it, man. Um, one of the people I admire that always does that is the rock right great actor and also extremely physical and and when he was doing the wwe or uh, yes yeah, one of those wrestling right how he transitioned from being physical to being charismatic to being smart to, and you know and those are the things that it takes man in order to succeed at the highest level and that's all we're thinking about here. We're thinking about succeeding at the highest level. We're not thinking about just getting by, man. We're taking moonshots, man. We're taking moonshots, and if we happen to land on a star, we'll regroup and shoot again for the moon, guys. So remember that. Okay. Now, because of this uh, difficulty in transition, I have had uh, far more. I've lost far more. I've lost far more um, than I have won. So I want you guys to know that, right? When you can't transition properly, you're going to be losing at an extremely high rate. Because, listen, you can be as physical as you want to be, but when people begin to outsmart you, um, they will neutralize your physical attributes because they know how to outthink you. So you can't allow people to think you into a circle. Um, so if you want, right, guys, if you want... I can't promise you that um, you'll have more wins than losses because that's just not how it works, right? Um, if you are trying to succeed at an extremely high level, you're always going to have more losses than wins. You're always going to have more losses than wins, okay? Uh, and you're going to lose over and over and over again because 
that is the learning curve, right? So your learning curve, um, as you try new things that you haven't tried before, you're not going to be good at it. Some of the things you're going to suck at. Some of the things you're going to be horrible at. Especially when it comes to the brain, when it comes to the mind, man. When it comes to the mind, we have no idea the expanse amount of knowledge that you can gain and, and to succeed in life using your mind. We, we have no idea just yet. We're just scratching the surface of the power of the mind and manifestations and all of these things they're talking about of how the mind can literally bend time. Change your life in a moment through your mind. In a moment. You don't have to wait years. You don't have to wait uh, do that five year, ten year schedule. No. In your mind, you can literally bend time to the point that you can take something that is five years out and bend time and succeed in six months. Now that's powerful, guys. That is powerful. And that is something that you cannot do uh, when it comes to your physical body, your biceps, right? Um, so you got to learn how to command your mind over your wins, right? You got to learn how to command your mind to create greater wins for you, okay? So that's what you guys got to do. Now, as I grow older, guys, as I grow older, I strive to always grow smarter. That's what I strive to do. And with that comes the ability to use more than one skill, right? More than one skill to solve a problem. See, in life, there are problems that you go through, right? Everybody has life. A life well lived is a life full of problems that you're constantly working on solving. Always got something on the table that you're trying to figure out. And in doing so, in trying to figure out all of these problems, okay, you got to have more than one skill in order to make it work for you. You got to have more than one skill to make it happen in order to be able to have the best life possible. Now, I learned during my days as an officer that if all you have is a hammer, right? Just think about this. If all you have is a hammer, then every problem becomes a nail, right? And I'm going to tell you what, that hammer has gotten me into more trouble than I could have possibly imagined, right? Always swinging that hammer. Because listen, if you're an alpha like me and, and a person who is always out trying to solve problems and trying to make things right, you are always swinging that hammer because that you're the one trick pony. That is the only trick you got in your back, so you're always pulling out that hammer. You may be able to turn it sideways, you may be able to do this, you may be able to pull out a nail a couple of times, but every problem that you approach is a nail problem. And the fact of the matter is, sometimes you got a screw, sometimes you have a bolt, uh, sometimes you have something else, man. So uh, you got to have more than one skill to get it done. Now, when you gain more skills, it opens your world up, man. It opens your world up to endless possibilities, guys, endless possibilities that before those skills, um, you had no idea they even existed. Um, you ever heard of the thing, you don't know what you don't know? See, when I began to get more skills, there were places and things that I could have solved that I had no idea that the solution even existed in that manner. You know, I was on the realm of, oh, that's impossible. You, you can't do that. You can't physically move that. That's, that's what my, was my thing, right? Always trying to physically move something, you know? And so when you're always trying to physically move something, you miss 90% of the solutions, okay, that are out there for that same problem, right? Same problem. So remember this in life, guys. There are people out there, right, who think they know it all. Right? They think they know it all, and those are the people who end up knowing the least. Right? And why is that? Why do these people end up knowing the least, these know-it-alls, right? It's because they close the loop on learning. They close the loop on learning, and the reason why they close the loop on learning, if you guys haven't 
caught this by now is is that they're afraid okay to get uncomfortable to learn something new they're afraid to fail okay because up until this point they've been getting some wins and so they're feeling good about themselves and they're afraid of that feeling you get when you fail they're afraid of that feeling you get when people laugh at you because you didn't know something right they're afraid of that feeling that you get when you're trying to find something new or trying to figure out something new and you you're fumbling with it right you it's falling all over the place and you you just seem like you just can't get it right and can't figure it out and you're upset and you're frustrated people who close the learning loop that is what they're afraid of you I'm telling you do not be afraid of that feeling ever ever get extremely comfortable because everything that you want in life is right outside your comfort zone is right outside your comfort zone is right smack dab in the realm of feeling uncomfortable it's just what it is man if you are a physical person then your solution is in the mental right if you're a mental person then your solution is probably in the physical right if you're a little bit of both your solution is probably becoming great at each so figure that out right figure that out okay um so that's what i want you guys to know I never ever close the learning loop always keep growing right always keep an open loop when it comes to gaining knowledge you got to you got to keep an open loop when it comes to gaining knowledge because you never know what new skill you can learn to help you get ahead I learned so many things having an open mind while I watch all of these people around me with their closed loop locked into this is how we always did it right when you're stuck with this is how we always did it there is no growth right um in my years of law enforcement there were people who were so adamant of doing it the same way that it was done 30 40 a hundred years ago right that they would literally try to destroy anyone who brought a new idea to the table they would try to destroy him guys okay they weren't willing to learn nothing new because the path of least resistance for them was doing what everybody else did okay for years and years and years and years and that's why we and in those departments we didn't have growth we didn't have change and we had the same problem year after year after year after year because people were not open up enough okay to allow new ideas okay to solve old problems right so so always be open to learning always keep that learning loop open because you're going to get the most out of life when you do that guys it's just what it is you're going to get the most out of life and you're not gonna be smiling the whole way you're not gonna be smiling the whole way you're going to feel uncomfortable all the time perpetually always uncomfortable and always thinking about something okay that you should have done or you could have done if you could have learned right you know always trying to I need to do more I need to get better at this skill I need to, to get better at marketing I need to get better at copyright I need to get better at um surveillance i need to get better at ugh, communication you know i need to get better at push-ups right i need to get better at pushing away from the table my diet nutrition i need to get better at my relationship we're always working to get better at something guys and when you're doing that believe it or not okay you may feel comfortable and uneasy but our brain is the happiest it's little explosions are constantly going off in your brain right saying this is extremely invigorating this is extremely exciting this is extremely enjoyable those explosions going off in your brain are the same explosions that go off if you're a physical person when you are lifting that weight and you get into that zone where you're sweating your muscles are all warmed up right and you're reaching new heights with your physical lifting right and you're really getting into it okay that transition that been you been consistent 
at what you're doing and you're seeing consistent progress, right? That is that zone. We're trying to push right over that to the next level. The brain enjoys it just as much as your biceps, guys. So continue at it, continue working towards that because that is when you begin to reach new heights, man. That is when you begin to uh, take your life to a higher level. So understand that, guys, when you are doing this. Okay, um, so always keep an open loop, as I said, guys. Now, the only thing I realized as I got older, guys, was was the amount of stuff that I did not know, right? Um, and those things that I did not know could have made uh, all of the world of difference to how um, my life turned out and the efforts that I put toward things that could have helped me to have a better life, right? Now, the reason why I'm saying this, guys, is not because I'm trying to take my life back in the past. No, that part of my life is done, and, and I am 100% okay with that because it has built me up to a person that I am today, someone who is willing to be transparent, someone who's willing to give you the inside secrets to having a better life, guys. You having a better life through learning from someone else so that you don't have to go through all of those same hardships, right? So, as I said before, I say this today because my past has a place for you. My past has a place for you and your future, right? And that place is for you to learn and avoid the mistakes of the biceps before the brain. Okay, so um, when you are going through the motions, right, and you happen to hear this podcast or you happen to see my video and you happen to come across the question of are you using your biceps when you should have been using your brain, just take a moment and pause. Take a moment and pause and understand that everything that I encompassed in this entire podcast, right? It doesn't make you weak to use your brain before your biceps, okay? And you can still keep that tool in your toolbox, okay, to use it when necessary. And third, the most important thing, guys, is to be able to develop both so you can have a fluid transition from one problem to the next with multiple skills. So um, hopefully you guys have gotten a little something out of this, today's podcast. This is my Saturday afternoon podcast. So um, it's daylight outside, as you guys can see. I'm I'm up early. I'm getting things done. I'm still got to jump on my workout and get that in. So um, I decided to do my workout after my podcast. And so I'm going to go ahead and transition, have lunch, and then do that. And so uh, listen, guys, make sure... You hop on over to LieutenantSoundBlue.com and pick up your copy of my book, Top 25 Mistakes and Route to the Good Life, right? Tons of goodness. That's me on the back cover, chilling out. I think I was in Florida during that time. And uh, the book is full of good stuff, man. Full of good things, man. Good things that you can learn and, uh, and mistakes that I made. I'm being totally transparent in this book when I'm putting it out there so that as many people as possible can learn from some of the mistakes that I made, and you can have a far better life earlier than I'm having right now. So hop on over there. Um, if you guys want, you could um, get the upsell. You can get the audio book, right? And with the audio book, you can uh, finish. Uh, it took me like two weeks to read the entire book onto audio book, and you can finish it in four hours, literally. Uh, listen to it at twice the speed, and you can finish it at four hours, and you will enjoy that experience as well so um check me out at all the social medias guys instagram tiktok snapchat twitter facebook blogger and reddit right and probably missed one too so check me out at all the social medias at lieutenant sound blue and shoot me a dm shoot me a dm and tell me what would you like me to talk about in tomorrow's podcast okay so this is lieutenant sound blue I am wrapping it up for today and I'm extremely excited um, because I have tons of other things that I have in store for you guys on my website, uh, Lieutenant Sal Blue, and in future podcasts. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow and you guys have a great 
Saturday afternoon. It is beautiful out here, man. Get out there, breathe some fresh air, and enjoy the sun, all right? Deuces. Talk to you later.